good start to the day so far. Out on the mountain bike, in a far better mood than yesterday's upload, which I think got suppressed. Did you get a notification for it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Proper shoes on. I have tools with me. I think I've got the right tire pressure in. And I found my long lost favorite jersey. I didn't know where it was. Turns out I put it with all my suit stuff, but I don't have a job where I have to put a suit on. And there's been a global pandemic, so I haven't been to a wedding in one and a half years. All my gear was with it. I... Ah. Hey, what's the uh, what's the consensus on just yelling on your left on a multi-use trail like this in lieu of using a bell? Cause like, I'm not gonna put a bell on this bike. Sometimes I just yell ding, people really like that. puncture just coming up that little climb. <sighs> Do you hear it? It's very annoying. Everything was going so good. I do have, I have a tube. I brought everything with me, I think. But I don't think it's like a big tube, so I'm not gonna be able to continue mountain biking. Bacon strip. Would have brought my bacon strip if I was smart. But I'm not smart, and I'm out of practice. And here we are. Though, I at least brought a pup and a 700C by like 45 too. It's going to be hilariously too small for this. It was like on a whim. I was like, I guess I should bring some tools with me. You never know what could happen on a trail that you don't know. Genius for me, like pretty normal practice for like any other regular person. It's raining now. It's raining. The tube actually goes up to a 50 millimeter. This is a 57, so. Whoa, that's a big spider. Big spider. Should I risk it and keep going? All right, abort. I've used my one get out of jail free card. I've never made it past that spot while on this trail. I have no idea where it goes. I don't know how much gnarlier it gets. The deeper I go in, the more chance I have of getting another flat. And uh, I don't really want to deal with that. Back to home base. All this dust just from riding out here. <laughs> How many of my vlogs would you say have featured or ended with me in a flat tire? Or for that matter, a mechanical. For once, I seem to have the appropriate things with me to get home. Back together, tube back in its home. Now what? I think um, if it's okay with all of you, uh, I kind of want to like finish this video, this vlog with uh, a moment of vulnerability, I guess, because I always do find having like these, like even if they are one way conversations, it's always like helpful for myself in one way or another. So, so like definitely 100% uh, and I think, Today's ride, the, the outcome of that ride really cements the fact that it's like, I am wildly struggling with riding mountain bikes this year. Like every year, there's always, there's always a reset. 
for me anyway, because mountain biking is not my like my number one, but when I do get into it, I know that I absolutely love it. And I'm actually like, I'm, I'm okay at it. I'm pretty good uh, for someone who doesn't mountain bike very much. Uh, I certainly spend most of my time on other bikes, but when I do get into the groove and, uh, and start riding my mountain bike more often and, and allowing all of those skills to finally get the rust off them, beat off all the cobwebs and get back into it. And I'm able to actually like clean trails and ride them relatively quick, find flow, like all these feelings kind of go away. And it's generally within like one ride, like go out, ride once and uh, all the jelly beans are out and I'm feeling a lot better about my, my progress and where I'm gonna be at for the year. But like this year, I don't know what it is about this year. I've taken forever to get out and ride a mountain bike. And uh, I've done three rides and none of them have ended feeling better at the end than when I started. Like, like it has been like a, an internal battle, like a fight with myself to even bring up like the idea of going and riding and like maybe having to take a car to go do it. And typically like the way Russ went through this with his 30 day climbing challenge where it's like, okay, if I at least go around the block, everything kind of comes around and then you're like ready to ride. You're like happy to go out. It hasn't ended in a way that I've come back feeling that same way. I've come back like crushed, demoralized and just like pretty upset, like pretty mad just thinking about where I was at when I left mountain biking for like the off season last year uh, versus where I'm at now. Riding mountain bikes has become more a source of anxiety. Like the idea of it has made me feel more like, oh, this is just gonna end poorly. Like some sort of mechanical is gonna happen or I'm gonna get another flat. Like it's, it's not gonna end well. And I, I, I don't love that. I, I really don't. Exploring my mindset a little bit, I think there is a, a few contributing factors to like where I'm at with uh, with like riding mountain bikes right now. Uh, one is is definitely there's there's a certain level of like bicycle burnout in general. Two, completely against what I always say for everybody who uh, gets into something, uh, I've I've completely bitten off more than I can feasibly chew for like the first ride back, like to get back into the swing of things and being able to ride a mountain bike more than, than once a week. Uh, and it's picking like the hardest, most technical trails, the longest loops of those technical trails um, on bikes that are set up that I'd not taken the time to set up. Like I just kind of threw it in the car or like I, whatever. Um, and then tried to ride the way that I know that I can ride when I'm in top form and being like so unbelievably frustrated when I'm not there. My ideas and the way that you're supposed to get back into things is like go out, ride easier and shorter than what you felt you could do that day so you end in a good mood and uh, are like pumped and ready to go do more. I am, uh, I'm, I'm ready to be done with feeling so frustrated and I'm like very, very much looking forward to getting back into uh, being that happy-go-lucky spindat who uh, loves all types of bikes. <sighs> Maybe this is advice I shouldn't be giving. Okay.